Claire. Grandma's going to read you a story. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There you go. See? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in the little house in the woods. There was a great big father bear with a great big voice. And a middle-sized mother bear with a middle-sized voice. And a little wee baby bear with a little wee voice. One morning, the three bears had porridge for breakfast, and the mother bear said, This porridge is too hot to eat now. Let's go to the woods for a walk while the porridge gets cold. So the three bears went for a walk in the woods. Now, while they were gone, a little girl came along named Goldilocks. When the little girl saw the little wood, the little house in the woods, she wondered who lived there, so she knocked on the door. No one answered, so she knocked again. Still no one answered, so Goldilocks opened the door and walked in. There before her in the little room, she saw a table set for three. There was a great big bowl of porridge, porridge a middle-sized bowl of porridge, and a little wee bowl of porridge. She tasted the big bowl of porridge. This is too hot, she said. Then she tasted the middle-sized porridge. Oh, this is too cold. Then she tasted the little wee bowl of porridge. Oh, this is just right, and she ate it all up. Then she went into another room, and there she saw three chairs. There was a great big chair, and a middle-sized chair, and a little wee chair. Goldilocks sat down in the big chair. Oh, this is too hard, she said. Then she sat down in the middle-sized chair. Oh, this is too soft. Then she sat in the little wee chair. Oh, this is just right, she said, and sat down, so, sat down so hard that she broke the chair. Then she went into another room, and there she saw three beds. There was a great big bed, and a middle-sized bed, and a little wee bed. Goldilocks lay down on the big bed. Oh, this is too hard, she said. Then she tried the middle-sized bed. Oh, this is too soft. Then she tried the little wee bed. Oh, this is just right. She sighed and fell fast asleep. Now, while Goldilocks was asleep, the three bears returned from their walk in the woods. They looked at the table, and the great big bear said in his great big voice, Someone has been tasting my porridge. So the middle-sized mother bear said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been tasting my porridge. And the little bear said in his little wee voice, Someone's been tasting my porridge and eating it all up. Then the three bears went into the next room. The great big father bear looked at his chair and said in his great big voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair. Then the middle-sized mother bear said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair. And the little wee baby bear said in his wee little voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair and has broke the chair. Then the three bears went into their bedrooms. The great big father bear said in his great big voice, Someone has been lying in my bed. And the middle-sized mother bear said in her middle voice, Someone has been lying on my bed. And the little wee baby bear cried in his little wee voice, Someone has been laying in my bed, and here she is. Oh, look at that. They found Goldilocks. Now the shrill voice of the little wee baby bear wake, woke Goldilocks up. And you can well believe she was really scared to see three bears looking at her. She jumped from the bed and ran across the room, sprang out the little low window, and away she ran through the woods as fast as her legs could carry her. And little Goldilocks didn't come back to that house again. Right. Bye, Claire. Love you. Big hugs from Papa and Grandma.